Hey, it's Mary Simpson. Glad to have you here tonight. I've been using Young Living oils for two years. And out of those two years, I've been helping my grandbabies as well. I have two two-year-olds and one that is four. Both of my daughter and loves have a complete wellness kit of oils and they also have the baby oils. So I'm gonna talk about both tonight and then when you get through with this portion, there will be posts that you can copy or save uh, for your record. The posts are numbered one through eight, so hopefully you can follow along with that, with my madness of recording and posting. So let me tell you how you safely can empower yourself to help your health and your baby's and your toddler's health. So the way to safely use oils is to use them topically or internally, internally or with my diffuser aromatically. This is the fastest way for oils to enter your system, to enter your body because your, your brain interprets. So say that, um, Maybe you need some emotional support for your little guy or little girl. You're going to the doctor and they are not happy. You diffuse. It puts a, it put oil, puts oil and water straight into the room that you are in, and you become happy or calm, or to help fight illness. So that's the first way to use oils. Now with babies and children. You need to dilute an oil. This is a big bottle of coconut oil, but my whole team does do-it-yourself projects with oils and coconut. So what I do though is this is just a, a clean container that I scooped out some coconut oil. So if this were your baby or your child, you're going to get a little bit of coconut oil and then drop a drop of lavender on top of it, which is great for skin support for babies. And so that's how easy it is to dilute an oil so that you can safely use this for any age baby. And you would rub it in. And that actually is a calmant. Your baby would be happy. Your baby would sleep. This is my brain stem that I am adding that lavender to calms you down. So safety, safely using oils, the way that you determine that, if it needs to be diluted or not, is on the side of the bottle. But for babies and infants and newborns, you always, always dilute because of their body weight. So generally, it's going to be a little bit of coconut oil and a drop of oil on their feet or on their spine. The last way to use oil is internally. Now I use oils in a capsule. Right now I'm trying to lose some weight that I've gained and I'm actually using some weight support capsules where I actually dropped pure oils into a capsule and swallowed it down. Now with babies, you could use an oil that's approved by the FDA for internal consumption. So we're safe, but you could put that in applesauce. You could put it in their apple juice. Some oils you can actually use on their gums if they are having issues with teething. So um, all three ways can you use oils on your babies. Now, when I say this, I am not talking about an oil that you might grab from the um, the aisles of Walmart. I'm not talking about a high-end Target or a high-end Kroger. No. <laughs> Young Living Oils. The reason I use oils internally is I actually can tell you which farm or which farms lavender is grown. It's grown in France and it's also grown in Utah. And I'm sure there's other farms, but on those farms, the lavender is planted, the plant
plant, the lavender is grown without pesticides, no bad stuff. And then it is farmed and it is bottled and then I buy it. So I can tell you if the FDA says I can use this internally and I know where Young Living gets this oil from, then we are in great shape. So just remember that when I'm talking about putting something in your baby's applesauce, it is not any other oil than Young Living. Got it? Good. All right. So, first of all, Young Living has a brand new line just for infants, for newborns, and I love it, love it. In fact, I'm gonna show you a couple really quick, and I do have some graphics with these, so you don't have to take notes if you wanna just listen. But this is the Seedlings um, Body Lotion for infants, for newborns. There's no toxins. You never ever need to be applying to your baby or to your mama self any, any toxin because the greater amount of toxins you put on the body, the more problems you're probably going to have in life. So I love this lotion. It's very soft. It's not oily. It's not gritty. It's very nice, very pleasant. So the next thing is way crazy. So this is not your typical, um, I want to say olive oil because I'm Italian, baby oil. <laughs> No, no olive oil on your babies. So this baby oil smells really, really nice. And again, it's not greasy. It's perfect for a full body massage on your baby. So you pop it open, add some baby oil on your hand, add some lavender, and give your baby a full body massage. Now, there's lots of oils that you can use to do that. But that is so, so calming. Think about we mamas when we get a massage. Are you not happy and calm? So would your baby. So would your toddler. If you can keep them still, so would your eight-year-old. This is the bomb. Love this stuff. Now, I used this last night for me. So even though the seedlings is for infants and newborns, who cares? So you spray this on your linens. So it's like, I know I sprayed this last night, but um, that's it. So there's, there's no bad toxins. There's no bad fragrances. Young Living lists everything and you can actually see what it's made from and you can pronounce the words. That's a win. This baby is butt cream. <laughs> it's diaper cream. I use this under my eyes because it has a lifting agent and it prevents wrinkles. Prevents wrinkles. Do y'all remember the movie with Sandra Bullock that she made in San Antonio a few years back when she was in the, what, Miss USA contest? So they... They gave her wrinkle cream, no, it's hemorrhoid cream, to put under her eyes. This is the bomb. So if it's tender enough and it's supple enough and nice enough for my baby's bottoms, then it's good enough for underneath my eyes too. One last thing. If your toddler or your child has been bitten by a mosquito or has poison ivy, any type of skin irritation, Use the butt cream. The butt cream's the bomb. <laughs> I got this out of the bathtub for my grandkids. This is what they bathe with, and this is what we use in the bath. And it, again, it's formulated specifically for infants, so it's safe. There's going to be a post about Johnson & Johnson. Um, my husband told me about the lawsuit probably three years ago and then another lawsuit and another lawsuit and I know there was even a recent lawsuit with a lady. Powder causes bad things. I hate to use the other word for J&J &J again but they have um, 
they're such a giant that even though their products are not the greatest, they can sustain being sued. How's that for trying to be compliant? All right, let's move on. Oh, forgot about the diaper wipes. They're the bomb too. There's like four or five packages of these floating around my house. You cut them in two and take off your makeup, take off your, your eyeliner, eye makeup. They are the bomb. This is what I was reaching for. So Mamas with Infants. This is a brand new monkey. I did not make him. He is cute. It lists all of the pure items that are in here. Um, and it's on his rear end on a little bitty tag. Rose hips. There's just phenomenal things in here. There is nothing fake. I started buying these two years ago for my mamas when I teach class. I buy these for $25 from Life Science Publishing. And Life Science Publishing also makes lots of literature. Is he not a doll? I think I sold my turtle at the last class that I had, but there's five or six of these guys. So what I want to tell you about Mr. Giraffe is if your baby is brand new, wrinkly, just born, if you wanted to not put that on your baby, although I empower you, you empower yourself, that, that lavender is safe. You can put this on your baby's foot. But if you choose for extra support, put this on your, what is he, giraffe, see his ears? <laughs> so you can put this in the freezer, you can put him in the refrigerator, you can put him in the microwave. There's instructions on the bottom. I think it's like 15 seconds. So let's start with lavender. It is such, such great skin support oil. Cradle cap issues, sleep issues. You know when the baby decides they don't want to go sleep and it's two in the morning? Do you diffuse this? You would drop about four or five drops of lavender in the diffuser in the baby's room to help relax them before they go to sleep. Now, we at Young Living call this the Swiss Army Knife because if your little boy falls and scratches his knee, use lavender. If ants bite them, anything that happens to their skin, it is such great skin support. And if they get burned, skin support. Let's see, what else on lavender? Emotionally calming. Um, if also it can help if their belly is upset, you can rub some of this on their belly. So let's talk about peppermint. Peppermint is a pure oil and it's a very, very strong oil. So when you diffuse this for your baby, you only want to diffuse maybe one to two drops. If they're having a problem, like they are constipated, then you would want to use one drop, but you're going to use it with solid coconut oil. So if you had Young Living's lotion, you could use the lotion as well with the peppermint. So peppermint will also bring body temperatures down. So runners actually use this on the back of their neck. You can make, um, an eight ounce bottle with about 10 to 15 drops of peppermint, spritz it on your neck, spritz it on your body, even put a fan on you and you will feel fabulous. So imagine if your baby is overheated, if your puppy is overheated, lavender is great with peppermint. You can layer those two, okay? Um, so peppermint also, can be used if there are some aches and pains too. It's a warming oil. Again, dilute, dilute, dilute. Lemon, 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 lemon. So for mamas, diffuse this for energy. For mamas, drink a drop of this in water. For babies, <laughs> we can make a little chest rub. With the coconut oil, you actually could take the 
the lemon and put this with a couple other oils I'll talk about in a minute in here, mix it up, and you have your own chest rub. Throw away Vicks Vapor Rub. It has petroleums in it. What is this? 100% coconut oil. So you can eat a coconut. So I'm pretty sure coconut oil on your baby with a little bit of lemon is gonna be good on their belly. Let's see, immune. I always forget about immune support with lemon. But again, you can mix a couple of oils together for your immunity level to be higher. And if your immunity level is higher, you stay well. Let's stay ahead of the game. Let's stay well. So, frankincense. Mamas that are stressed, put this on the top of your ear. Not diluted. Turn it over on your finger, put it on top of your mouth. When you are in, having a little bit of anxiety at 3 in the morning when their baby won't go to sleep. You can diffuse this in the baby's room for wellness to diffuse into the air. Let's see, I don't use frankincense a lot on my babies, but that same emotional support that you and I can have, they can have. You can, again, use coconut oil with a drop of frankincense, and it's a grounding oil. It's a calming oil. Makes things better. Thieves. Oh my. So thieves, antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial. I'll have to tell you a story. You'll never forget thieves again when I tell you this story. But Kylan gave me a uh, strep throat two years ago. Uh, my son was throwing up. Josie was throwing up. Kylan was throwing up. I didn't throw up. I just knew my throat was like really, really dry. And then when I looked inside and saw ulcers, I knew I was in trouble. So I used about this much water in a Dixie cup, a drop of thieves, gargled, and swallowed. Mama, so you can do that when your baby has strep throat. Do that. When your baby has something viral, when your baby has something and they're not well, you can help yourself with this. You also can drop this in the diffuser to uh, diffuse that to stay well, to feel better. Now, I just took a bath with bath salts with some thieves. Your babies can do that too. Use a half a cup of Epsom salt with about two drops of thieves. Just depends on how big your bathtub is and how old your baby is. This baby, <laughs> I can handle about 10 drops of thieves with a cup of uh, Epsom salt. This is phenomenal. All you mamas, listen up, all you mamas, that your babies are going to daycare, that your babies are going to school for the first time, or even you mamas, that your children are going back to school after being at home all summer long with you. You need to make a roller of this, which is just a little bit faster to apply than coconut oil. So if we had liquid coconut oil, we actually would put it in a roller. This is a roller that a baby, that one of your kids is gonna uh, win tonight. This is Peace and Calming, and I have some Amethyst and some Peridot in the bottom. Um, so anyway, to roll wellness into your baby, your child, your infant, your toddler, your school age kids, your mama, your daddy, you roll this on the bottom of their feet every single day. Put their socks on and send them to school. Especially do this at the beginning of the school year, and then up through the flu season. Not fun, right? Pan away is great for your babies for external pain. So if they've gone to the doctor's office and they've had their injections and they just don't feel good, you could use some of this topically. But remember, you're going to dilute with a little bit of coconut oil right on top. Um, any type 
of, of pain that you have in your back or your neck or your shoulders from carrying two or three babies or two babies and two sacks of groceries, this is the balm. Now, Peace and Calming is just a wonderful, wonderful oil. It's a grounding oil, and again, it's what I'm giving away tonight. Mamas, daddies, babies, kids, everybody can use this oil. So it helps when they are upset. It helps calm them. When, you know, when babies cry and cry and cry and they are so, they get to that, that level of no return, of not stopping to cry. Diffuse peace and calming. Wear peace and calming. Dilute peace and calming. Citrus Fresh. Guys, this is what you need for your car. When your baby throw up in your car, <laughs> you can actually... Put some of this on uh, cotton balls and put it in the air vents in your car. You can put it in the air vents in the baby's room. You can drop a couple of drops in the baby's diaper pail. You can put this in your garbage disposal. You can certainly put this in the diffuser to smell better after the mm, explosion. What's Daria, the, the bad one? <laughs> The poop everywhere, citrus fresh. Now I diffuse this because of my fur babies, because they are stinky. Put this in your kids' tennis shoes. You moms that have school-aged kids that are, you know, little boys sweat. They play sports. They play the ba play basketball in elementary school and things like that. Or even high school kids. This is the bomb. Citrus fresh is great. Oh, and mamas, if you if you burn your food, diffuse citrus fresh. I burn stuff all the time. So joy, 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 joy. This is for mamas and babies. You know, sometimes babies can be a little bit down. Emotionally, they can be a little bit down. This will help. Just a tiny drop of this with the coconut oil over their heart can make them feel happy. It signals your brain that you are happy. So certainly you can diffuse it. Um, by the way, mamas, this is an aphrodisiac. Our men love us in sweet oils. So when you use this with a baby, uh, be sure and add some coconut oil. Now, when I first started with Young Living two years ago, I used straight olive oil out of my kitchen. I grab my cold press olive oil that I cook with and I put it in my rollers. Now I use V6, which is a fancy fatty oil. And it makes the oil glide on your baby's skin up and down their, down their spine. So you would think that this joy would be greasy and it's not. It, but the oil helps it, helps it uh, cover that area, and then it also helps it not to evaporate. So that is a, a happy oil for your babies. Um, we didn't talk about Valor. I think I may have skipped that. Mamas, daddies, babies, everybody. So this is how this roller comes. It's pre-made. Young Living has about seven of these beauties with the gold caps. Toss them in your purse. Toss them in your suitcase. This thing is such, such greatness. So that's what I'm giving the mamas. It's got a blue color. So y'all have got some precious stones in the bottom of y'all's too. Y'all have got some amethyst and some rose quartz. So Valor makes you strong. So when you're fussing at your baby and you really don't want to, or when anything that you need extra strength, Valor can help you. If you're taking your baby to the doctor for the first time, if you're going for the second checkup, Valor on mama, Valor on the baby's foot. Also, it, it also helps muscles. 
It also helps tissue. So your babies that are teething or mamas that are clenching at night, this is a great, great oil. Almost done, three more. So Digize, this has a roller on it because this stinky baby goes on your belly. So when your baby has tummy issues, any tummy issues, you pull the cap off. Now I bought these little fitment rollers from Young Living. The reason I love this is you can actually apply this way and, and oil will come out. But if this were your baby's tummy, we're gonna go clockwise, okay? Around the belly, around the belly button. This does not smell great, so I would advise putting a tiny bit of peppermint, which, you know, if your tummy hurts, peppermint kind of feels good. Warming feels good. So you could actually do both, this and peppermint. And again, with your babies, you're going to dilute. Once your child is over the age of 12 or 13, you're not going to need to dilute except for very sensitive skin. And again, your bottle is going to tell you, apply topically, dilute one to one. So that'd be one drop of oil to one, one drop of coconut oil or one drop to lotion. So stress away your baby, another oil. Again, when they're fussy, this comes in your kit. Most of these oils that I'm talking about are in your kit. I've just got two or three extras. Your peace and calming, your valor, and your joy are not in your kit, but they are great, great staples to have in your life. So stress away, you mamas, you can wear this as perfume every day. Daddies wear it on your chest, mamas wear it behind your ears, on your wrist, it smells wonderfully like lime because it's loaded with lime. There's also vanilla and cobaiba. This is great. So again, I keep going back to the doctor's visits because that's kind of trauma for new mamas and new babies, but you can always give them a little bit of happy oil. You can diffuse this for everybody to be happy, even the dogs. So, Copaiba is my last oil. I also use this baby when Kylie gave me strep throat. So this is for inflammation. So if you're going to the gym and you, you know, worked out a little bit too hard, you can use this pre-gym, post-gym, you can use it on your chest, but it also is fabulous for those muscles and joints, it's also fabulous internally. So when your kids are teething, drop, uh, add a drop to your finger and rub their gum. If your older kids are almost ready to lose a tooth, you can put a little bit on the gum with a tiny, tiny bit of peppermint, mostly copaiba. You can actually dilute it if you want to, depending on the age. If you've got an eight-year-old losing a tooth, you can put this before and after. Remember, it's for swe it's to it's to help swelling, to help inflammatory issues. So, these oils are my favorite oils. They come together, bundled, for this perfect package of wellness. Now, if you get a diffuser with your oils, you get to choose. This diffuser with the 11 oils is 260. It plays music, it plays spa sounds, it has a remote control. This is a crazy good diffuser. It's one of my favorites. Now, one of the diffusers is uh, a little black sleek diffuser and you'll see these online when you sign up to get your own kit but there is uh, different choices. That one's 205. It has, a it has a remote control as well, and it's very sleek, but has some color if you want it. And then one of the favorite ones is 160, and that diffuser has 11 settings of lights. 
it lives in my living room. So when it's Christmas, I put the red or green light on. When it's Thanksgiving, orange. I normally have on the blue or the purple all the time. It has a candlelight flicker. But the best part is when your babe or when you are not feeling well, you can touch, you can set that button so that it diffuses for a full 10 hours. Cool. Uh, diffusers are such a great, great way to help support your body systems. No matter if you were needing energy in the morning, everybody's going to school, let's put some lemon in the diffuser. Everybody comes home from school, everybody's hands are nasty, let's pop thieves in the diffuser. It's time to go to bed, and we've had too much candy. Put some lavender, put some peace and calming in your diffuser. It truly, truly is such a great way to stay well. So, I'm going to close now, and remember, the next post that you see will be numbered. So, um, you can follow along. If you're busy tonight, surely come back and, and rejoin us. If you need to rejoin us in the morning, it's fine. This post and my other, this video and my post will be up for a week. Josie and I thank you, both of us thank you for coming tonight and listening and seeing us. Thank you. Bye.